what's up gang it's your girl sif from savvy sentience and welcome to your august 2023 general readings if you are new here welcome if you are not welcome back thank you all so much for joining me please make sure that you all do the things like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not already make sure to comment and engage with the content doing so helps this channel grow and lets youtube know that you enjoy this kind of video if you all are looking for personal readings, you can book at SavvySentient.com and that is the only place you can book. I will never slide in your DMs, I will not hit you up on WhatsApp, and I will not hit you up in the comments begging for readings. If you all are interested in what I'm doing when I'm not reading tarot or speaking about spirituality, you can watch my other channel, Simply Savvy, and anything else you need to know about me will be linked in the description box below along with that second channel. So let's waste no more time and get into your reading. To get a full view of what's happening for you in August, please make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into it. All right, fellow Jim. So let's go ahead and get into the channeled message. And the message from Spirit goes as follows. We want you to be taken care of. You are now so much more than you were. So Spirit is telling you that they are taking care of you now. Um, maybe you didn't feel cared about in a relationship, in a friendship, maybe just in general, in life. Uh, the cards that came up for the pre-pull were the Daughter of Knives, which is the Knight of Knives, Four of Swords, which represents a period of meditation and restfulness. Uh, Dr. Grant, which is the Hermit, Strength, and the Nine of Knives. So you may have been feeling very introspective, uh, really evaluating certain connections and your value is what I feel with that. Really uh, in your head about something. Uh, and what I feel with the overall energy being the devil is that you may have even been in a period of like obsession like where you felt like there was something like not quite right about your situation or that something needed to change or that the devil can actually represent someone in your immediate um environment who is devilish who is toxic who is problematic who is bringing chaos into your life. However, with the Sun of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which is the Knight of Wands, you are your own hero. You are doing what you have to do to deliver yourself from this situation, okay? So it's not just me. It ain't just me, guys. We all on the same page, <laughs> okay? So for the astrology of it all, um, what comes from the astrology is that we are now Gemini's in a period of understanding ourselves more of increase when it comes to our spiritual gifting and our personal philosophies okay so we are uh not only understanding ourselves more but appreciating our journey and how far we've come okay so in the current situation we have the world so something in your life is definitely coming to completion something is coming to an end and that could, can be a toxic cycle with this devil showing up as your overall energy and you are breaking through into situations that are more reciprocal with the six of pentacles and the ace of swords you are moving towards reciprocity you are moving to success and to victory in your life the obstacle that you deal with right now is the ten of wands gemini so your burdens are heavy you have a lot on your plate at this time however 10 does represent endings so the ending of your burden is present but you may still be feeling burdened or bogged down by whatever the situation is uh, for some of you all this devil energy may be represented by the page of cups someone who is childlike idealistic idealistic um someone who is immature but this can also be a struggle between 
trusting that your burdens are nearly over and trusting your intuition to lead you to to that ending to that completion and into a period of empress energy this is self-love self-care uh nurturing healing this is also a period of incubation okay creation so you're coming out of this toxicity you're coming out of this negative cycle you're coming out and away from uh, what's not serving you and you're moving into a more luxurious more comfortable more self-indulgent self-appreciative time a time where you're able to flourish a time that is very fertile for you moving forward okay um now for your advice or for not the advice but for the uh completion how this situation ends santa muerte herself shows up that is the deck that we are using the santa muerte tarot and in this deck she's actually an addition she doesn't represent um another major arcana she is herself so i want to actually read her guidance about what's happening in the situation okay so here's the card and her guidance tell me if this is hitting or not in the comments because once i saw her here and really looked into what she had to say i was like damn yeah. <laughs> okay, so her guidance says, a profound transformation, a renewal, a true and proper revolution. If it is life that generates death, then death generates life. We are connected to all that surrounds us, to people who have come before us and those who will come from the cradle to the tomb, from the coffin to the womb in a continual exchange and continual regeneration, not of opposites, but of complement, complementary elements. Santa Muerte brings with it new projects, changes, cuts, and the necessary abandonment of what we keep stationary and entangled, like the past or suffocating ties. These changes, however, are not always pain-free. Mm but can bring with them trauma, anger, violence, and loss, including an immobility when we refuse to take on these transmutations. The advice of the dead, accept the changes that are offered in front of you without fear of cutting ties and cutting yourself off from your old positions, old ideas, or preconceptions. Mutation is imposing itself. All right, so she's here to say she's basically like tower energy world energy and judgment energy all wrapped into one and they are converging for like your best good for the betterment of your entire situation even a little bit of empress energy sprinkled in there because with santa muerte present in your life right now she's shifting your life as you know it and it's for your betterment even if it feels like some bullshit <laughs> even if it feels like a whole bunch of nonsense even if it feels like a whole bunch of burdens it is for your betterment okay and so with the last two cards we have the nine of pentacles and we have the lovers and i feel like you can give into the transformation that santa muerte is bringing into your life or you can cling on to the toxicity to this old cycle and you can refuse to let it uh happen you know we all have choices but doing so is going to lead you to be codependent it's going to lead you to be in a place of instability okay and your other choice is the lovers it's to just be in alignment it's to just let what is happening happen with the understanding that it is for your highest good okay at the bottom of your deck you do have the two of wands which is choices 
choose codependency on a toxic situation or choose alignment it's really up to you boo boo but when you don't choose correctly that three of swords energy is coming back around for some of y'all you may have a difficult time breaking away from whoever this person is whatever the situation is but the result is going to be that three of swords energy they're going to hurt you again they're going to try to break you again they are going to disturb your peace again so advice go with the flow let whatever's happening happen let whatever wants to fall away fall away it's not serving you it's just taking up space let it the fuck up <laughs> okay so your oracle is actually the number two and the number two card represents the masculine for some of you all, this is uh, a masculine that you're dealing with, a masculine who is causing all of this uh, chaos in your life. <laughs> for others of you, or even for some of the same you know, group of you, this card is asking that you reach out to masculine energy for advice, for assistance in getting through this situation that you pull on uh, the masculine perspective to help navigate through this through this experience. Uh, for some of you, it's that you need to own your masculinity, tap into that masculine, that dominant side to work through the situation instead of leaning into too much to your feminine and your emotion. Because what you need right now is not emotion. <laughs> What you need right now is muscle. What you need right now is a little bit of ego, just a little sprinkle, just a little sprinkle of it, <laughs> all right? So the advice from the dead for this card says, your abilities are at their peak, but you need to better focus on your objectives. Perhaps asking advice from a masculine or a paternal figure. For some of you, y'all got some badass ancestors who can handle this person, this situation with, with ease. And you need to tap into their energy. You need to borrow some advice from them to help navigate the situation, okay? So let's get your advice. What is the advice for the Gemini Collective? We have the four of swords, which is rest, recovery, and meditation. This is a situation that you need to recover from, that you need to rest from, that you need to find uh, peace with. We have the strength card. You need to stay strong through it. Being that this person or situation is so toxic, it may not be easy to just break away scot-free like you would like. However, However, using your strength, using the resources that you have access to, playing to your strengths is going to help pull you through the situation. And lastly, better like, not leastly, the mother of cups, trusting your intuition, trusting your mother's wit. Okay. That's what's going to help you get through this. So you're going to need your masculine energy. You're gonna need your uh, paternal guidance as much as you're gonna need your feminine energy, your intuition, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords, stalemate, you're at a crossroads. Decisions have to be made. Make the decision that is in your highest good, period. So let's get your postcard from Spirit. Spirit, let's hear it. What you got for the Gemini Collective before we wrap this thing on up? And it says, Dearest you, even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it is a time to rest. Allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. 
Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in profound ways. So you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with another dream. No need to set an alarm clock. And I'm so glad that that's the card that came up because I did want to touch on like spirit wants us to make moves, but make them intelligently, not out of haste, not out of, you know, wanting our situation to be different sooner. Okay. Not out of instant gratification. Sometimes when we move too fast, we screw ourselves. And that's exactly what this toxic devil wants. They want us to just move. They want us to be bullied. They want us to, you know, bend to their will. But we always have to keep our best interests at heart and make moves that are in our own best interests. So whatever you're going through right now, Gemini, use your head use your head take your time do not rush any decisions that you have to make just because somebody else wants you to do what's in your best interest okay so that is your reading fellow gems if this resonates for you please let me know how in the comments below if it resonates too much my way too much if it's hitting home You might want to book a personal reading at SavvySentient.com. It is the only place you can book. I'll be there waiting for you. Let's talk about it. Let's work it out, okay? Make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe. And of course, until the next time I read for you, I'm wishing you all love and light. Now go get right. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.